creating a mail label PDF. So when you're on a search results page like this, and this is something that you would like to, to market to, to mail out to, when you're ready to create your labels, just come over here to create mail labels. And then we try to make this as simple as possible for you. Most people are going to want to mail to the owner at the tax mailing address. If you click Occupant, it's going to go to the physical mailing address and it's going to print Occupant where the name field is. But if you choose Owner Address, it's going to go to the tax mailing address with the owner's name on it. Okay. Uh, it would also be a good idea. Uh, that result that we just had on this search was 952 results. We don't know how many of them are non-owner occupied or not. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click Remove Duplicate Results Based On I'm going to say unique owner address because we're sending it in this video to the owner address. We don't want to have duplicates if they own multiple properties in the area. Uh, it's a good rule of thumb to click only retrieve labels with valid zip codes. And then it's going to default into an Avery 5160 label type. Okay. Now when you click on a different label type like the 5161, if you watch over here, it's, if you're not sure of your label, the label type that you need, if you click on another one of these, it's just going to tell you what the, what the label dimensions are. But we're going to stick with 5160, and there's a whole bunch of different ones in here that you can choose from. You can go left justified or centered, skip the label, fine tune page positioning. So if you skip the label, start on a certain row of a certain column. Uh, this is for if, you're, if, if, if your labels are not printing out correctly, if they're running off the label or moving to the left or to the right, you, want, you might want to make some adjustments here, okay? And then, uh, and then we're just going to come down here to the bottom of the screen that's out of your view and say generate labels as PDF. And it's going to say open with Firefox. Uh, you can choose whatever you want. I'm just going to say save file. And it you can see up here it downloaded. So I'm going to grab it from another screen here. And there's our labels.